everyone, it's Dr. Lindsay Briney from Shine Pediatric Dentistry, and today what we're going to do is go over a little bit of what it's like to get a filling. I thought it would be really fun because some of you may have had to have a filling before, or some of you may not know what goes on when we do a filling, so I thought it would be awesome to kind of see, to show you guys exactly what it's like to get a filling. So the first thing is, is what is a cavity? Well, a cavity is when the, we call them sugar bugs or bacteria, eat a little hole in your tooth, okay? And so what it starts out as is sometimes it can start out as like a little dark spot on your tooth. And it's my job as a dentist to decide if this little dark spot is going to turn into a bigger hole like this one did, or if it's going to stay the same size. Once that dark spot turns into a little hole like that, more food and bacteria and sugar bugs can gather in that spot and start eating your tooth more and more. And so we wanna take care of it before it gets any bigger. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I would rinse out your tooth to clean it out and how we would fill it with the filling material to make it strong again. Then it doesn't have that bacteria and that cavity in it anymore. And it makes it nice and strong so that food and plaque doesn't get stuck on the top, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So when you come to the dentist, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm always gonna be, a, be wearing my gear that I have here, like a gown or something to protect my clothes. And then I'm always gonna put on a special mask. And these days we're probably wearing our mask the whole time, because we all wear our masks. And then I'm gonna put on my special dentist glasses. My dentist glasses help me be able to see your teeth a little bit better with these cool little microscopes. And then sometimes I'll even turn my bright light on so that I can see your teeth a little bit better. I'm always gonna have to wear my special gloves so that I protect myself from your spit and so you don't taste what I had for lunch. All right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at my tooth, okay? So this is my special little, obviously we don't have a real patient here today, so I'm gonna use my special teeth that I had in dental school when I learned how to fix people's teeth. So when you're at the dentist, you're gonna be laying back in the chair. You'll probably not be able to even get to see what we do as dentists because you're probably gonna be busy watching the TV. Here at our office, we have TVs on the ceiling so you get your headphones and get to watch your TV while I fix your tooth, which makes it a lot easier for you. So. What we're gonna do is once we go ahead and we're gonna use our little rinser that's gonna rinse that hole out of your tooth and rinse out that cavity, okay? So when we do this, we're gonna turn on our special suction because we have to, when we rinse it with water, we don't want too much water to get in your mouth. So what you'll see is you'll see some of that dark stuff go away and you'll see it'll get sucked up in our suction. And then, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, okay? So here we go, let's get that rinsed out. See, we just rinsed it all out and we dried it. And now we have that little spot where we had to rinse out the cavities. So why don't you hand me the my explorer and I'll get to show them that there's just a little bit of like a groove in that tooth. And so now we don't wanna leave just that groove in that tooth, right? We have a little groove in the tooth. So now we need to fill it in so that it's nice and strong. So the first step of when we fill it in is we put this blue paint on your tooth, okay? So this isn't sharp at all. All it is, is it's just a little paint that we use to paint around your tooth. And we put all of our paint in there. And what this does is that it just prepares your tooth to be able to have that cavity or that filling material stick to it. So now what we're gonna do after we leave that blue, that we always call it sometimes blue shampoo, now we're gonna rinse it off. So you'll see me rinse it. With our special suction again. See, that's why we wear all of our protective gear there. Because sometimes that water gets kind of crazy in there. So then what I do is I put, I always call it my special tooth glue. Or the official word for it is called, sometimes called bonding. And what that do is because it bonds the, it makes the 
filling stick to the tooth, okay? So sometimes I get a little bit of dry off. Let's just make it really dry there, that special tooth glue. And then she puts a special light on it. What the light does is it makes it not be the liquid anymore. It makes it stick to your tooth really good. And then our next step is that we use a filling material. And so that kind of looks like kind of like a paste or putty or Play-Doh. And we kind of smash it into those areas. And then this is the part where a dentist gets to be kind of like an artist. So what we want to do is we want to shape that tooth and shape that filling to just look exactly like what your tooth looked like before you came in and before it had that cavity eat a hole in it. So we're going to make it have all those little grooves and every tooth is shaped just a little bit different. And so you could see how that paste was like, I could smush it into those areas and you can see parts of it come off. Now we're gonna put that blue light on it one more time. And now you can see that that paste right there, now it is super strong. See, now you can't get into that paste at all. It's nice and strong and it sounds strong. And so what you'll do when you're done with the dentist, after your dentist is done putting your filling in your tooth, they'll probably have you tap up and down a couple times and see if it's too tall. If it's too tall or it's too rough, then what we'll, we'll do is we'll go ahead and use my, use my water squirter again, and then we'll kind of rinse it off and make it smooth. So I'm gonna do that right now. And there you go. Now, your tooth is as good of, as new. It doesn't have a hole in it anymore, and it looks like my tooth colored filling is right back to the same color that your other tooth was, and it's the exact same shape it was before. You're all fixed up. So remember, the things that you can do to keep cavities out of your teeth is make sure that you're brushing your teeth two times a day for at least two minutes, and you also want to use the dental floss. Sometimes the cavities are actually in between your tooth, teeth, and that's where the dental floss takes care of it. You can also, another very, very important thing is making sure that you're choosing healthy snacks for your teeth. You can check out our YouTube channel where we have a video all about choosing healthy snacks. Well, we hope you enjoyed learning about what it's like to get a filling sometime. We hope that you never have to have one, but if you do, we'll take good care of you. See you later.